Coming to Athens is a thrill for me every single year. Okay? And I mean that with all my heart. This is where it's at. We all need to pay attention to what you do with your crowds, what you do with your, with your people. Because uh, it was fun playing today. You mean I lost, boy. It's fun. Uh, obviously, it was a heck of a college basketball game. Uh, we were felt fortunate to win it, humbled. Um, you know, obviously, they played really well, particularly in the first half. I think when I put the percentages up on the board at halftime, you know, these guys' mouths probably dropped because we take a lot of pride in our defense and our rebounding, and it uh, wasn't uh, sufficient in the first half. But the difference is you know, these guys sitting here and some other guys, they're a little bit older. And uh, when we got hit in the mouth, I thought we responded well. In the second half, our defense was under 40%. We held them to two threes out of 12, I believe, and we just kind of ratcheted it up. Um, it's one of those games that's odd because you know, I could have brought the whole team in here because every guy made a play or two that just kind of kept us in striking range until we could make a few plays late. I thought Ricardo Johnson off the bench was tremendous, gave us a huge lift, especially on the offensive glass in the first half. I thought he was really good defensively. Um, I thought that uh, you know Evo and Reggie inside in the second half when we were struggling to maybe shoot the ball a little bit, uh, got, got the ball inside and were able to – to get a shots and scores around the basket and get to the foul line, of course. Yeah, he talked yesterday. I thought he was terrific. Um, you know, I, obviously any former player that comes back, Bob, I try to, you know, I try to get them in our locker room, especially with uh, with Gary's story. Uh, maybe some of you saw it today in the dispatch. I thought it was excellent. You know, I, I introduced him yesterday. You know, I gave out all his accolades and all the things that he's done, what he's meant to Ohio basketball. But the thing that I've enjoyed the most as the head coach here is getting to know him as a person and how much he's changed and grown. You know, a lot of you probably read the story today in the newspaper. Um, but I've really enjoyed getting to know Gary as, as the person. He's very appreciative of what Ohio University has done for him. And, uh, you know, looking back, it's – it's funny when you get 40 like Gary and I are, you start to get a little, maybe a little bit wiser and you start to appreciate things even more. And uh, I thought the timing of it was, was, was excellent. Uh, I thought our marketing people did a great job. Athletic department, did, he, he had a full two. I asked him today if he was tired yet. You know, he had all kinds of things going on on campus, but I think he and his family enjoyed it. Our athletic department did a good job of welcoming him. And uh, obviously the fact is, his numbers in the Raptors, you know, deservedly so. I mean, he, he earned it. But, uh, you know, Bob, yesterday he shared with the guys the importance of, of uh, you know, competing, uh, being competitive in life, and he shared with them uh, the concept of life after basketball, which I think sometimes is hard for 18 to 22-year-olds to understand. Um, and uh, I thought he was really good. I felt good. I mean, you know, great support. I mean, Ozone was always rocking. You know, and, uh, just from all the people that came to support Gary Trent and us playing Miami. It felt good. 